And now, Local 5 Sports with Lily Zell. 28 local teams are still alive heading into round two of the high school football playoffs. And there's also a handful of all area rematches tonight. And that includes our game of the week in Division One, where Nina and top seeded Kimberly met up in a round two rematch from last year. The papermakers won seven to three. And the makers will strike first Caden Pendleton to Connor Wenick. Who brings breaks down two tackles and races 29 yards to the end zone for the score? Seven zip Kimberly. Rockets respond on the next possession. Luke Elkin on the quarterback draw goes up the gut, leaps past the goal line. We're tied at seven. Now, the problem was Nina could not stop Kimberly's ground attack. Alec Martzel direct snap, finds a crease, and he is gone. 55 yards to the house, and Kimberly led 35 13 at the half, and they never looked back as they beat Nina tonight 55 to 28. They get the winner of this one as Appleton North look to beat DC Everest for the second time this year. Appleton North, they get rolling in the first quarter. Matthew Shekelman airing the ball downfield for Alex Heron. He hauls it in for the 32 yard score. 7 0 Appleton North later in the quarter. Evergreen's Ethan Ostrowski passing, but it's picked off by Braden Goy Merrick, and he'll return this all the way down to the nine yard line. So a couple plays later, they'll cash in. Cal Martini takes the handoff and just walks in for the score as Appleton North cruises to the two, level two win, 42. To six. Well, staying in D1 in the FRCC rematch in round two is Preble. Travel to number one seeded Bayport, and the Pirates were in control. Less than six minutes until halftime, Andrew Thomas in for the two yard score. Bayport led 35 7 at the break. Preble, they had a hard time stopping tailback Isaiah Gash, who promptly gashed them for 317 yards on the ground. He also finished with four touchdowns, and that included this one from five yards out in the third quarter. Bayport, they're moving on in dominating fashion, 49 to 14. On the other side of the D1 bracket, Fondelac welcomed in Sun Prairie. Fonny getting right to work. Sophomore Braylon Allen finds a hole. He's gone, folks. 35 yards on the score, and Fond du Lac led by eight. But back comes Sun Prairie. On third down, Brady Stevens buying time with his feet, tucks and rolls for the first, and he will nearly reach the end zone. So a couple plays later, it's Nathan Shower punching it in from a yard out, and Sun Prairie shocks number two Fondy, 34 to 30. Division two now. Top seed of Pulaski survived a scare in round one. They played host to Superior. Spartans driving on their opening possession of the second half. Jerk Gronsky takes it himself, waltzes in for the 10 yard score. After a two point conversion, Superior cuts Pulaski's lead to 20 to 16. Superior threatening yet again, but this time the Red Raiders defense makes a stand. There is a fumble. Chase Ranke recovers it at the one yard line for Pulaski. So to start the fourth quarter from their own five yard line, Joseph O'Leary swats away a defender. No one can catch him. 95 yards to the house to give Pulaski the 27 to 16 lead. It was looking good, but Superior would storm back. Pulaski would line up for a possible game time field goal. It will be blocked and returned for a score as number four Superior upsets number one Pulaski 36 to 27. Hortonville with heavy hearts tonight as they play for teammate Colin Krivishin, who died in a car accident on Monday. Polar Bears wearing his number on their helmets. Take it on Kakana tonight. In the first quarter, goes threatening Noah Van Asten to Hunter Natrope. 18 yards on that score. Kakana took the 10 zip lead at the break. Later in the second half, more ghosts here. Van Asten lofts it up for Logan Fitzhugh, who hauls in the two yard score. 17 7 Kakana. Hortonville trying to get something going now. Kyle Allen. Finds Jaquan Owens for the touchdown. However, a little bit too late on this one. Kakana, they are moving on with a 20 to 14 win. To Division Three now. Number one seed West Superior looking to keep their undefeated season going against Grafton. Grafton down 11. Gorn Ford on fourth and one from midfield, and Joey Georgie he gets stuffed by the Phantoms defense. A little later, West Superior tries the fake punt. And David Vanderlot runs the direct snap to the right, and he will take it to the house. That worked out well. 43 yards on the score. Phantoms up 35 17. They kept their foot on the pedal. Here's Vanderlot again from four yards out as the Phantoms roll all over Grafton 56 17. They get the winner of this matchup Fox Valley Lutheran and Manasha. Pick it up in the second quarter. Blue Jays Tyler Roll. 
takes the handoff right up the middle and goes in for the 12 yard score. Menasha up 14 to 7. Now, right before the half, more Menasha. Colt Pope connects with Brady Georgella. He breaks a tackle and walks in for the 22 yard score. 21 7 Menasha at the break. A little bit later, Roll getting the call again, powers in for the one yard touchdown, and Menasha is moving on. They win over FBL 35 to 21. D4 now, number one seed Freedom facing off with St. Croix Central. On the opening drive, the visiting Panthers are at the Freedom three yard line when Brady Britton Bloom scoots in for the touchdown. The dew point conversion is also good. Eight zip St. Croix. Freedom trailed 15 to zip, but Reeve Lambrecht deep to AJ Opperman. 54 yards on this touchdown. It's now a nine point ball game. Later in the second quarter, Tayden Holzer runs it in for the three yard score. But how about this? Freedom comes all the way back and they will survive to win in overtime 49 to 43. Two division four. You Holstein hit the road to take on top seeded Amherst in the second half now. Amherst up by 11. It's a handoff to Jake Hoffman. He rumbles his way up the right side into the end zone for another Falcons touchdown. Later in the fourth quarter, Amherst, well, they've got the ball once again. Cullen dances around a little bit, makes a great throw to Ian Hall, 44 yards to increase their lead with that touchdown as Amherst knocks out New Holstein 31. To 13. And in Division 4, Reedsville took on Lords Academy at Titan Stadium in Oshkosh. Knights turning defense into offense. Reedsville throwing it back across the field. Uh oh, Caden Chire there for the pick six. Well, after another Reedsville turnover, it's Kyler, Tyler Johnson getting to the outside. He wins the race. To the pylon for a 16 yard score. Lords Academy rolls on to the next round, 59 to 14. Number two, Plymouth. Here's some more scores. They will get the win over Pewaukee, 10 to 6. And Kiel, the top ranked Raiders, will down Denmark, 17 zip. Moving on, Berlin. Well, they will take down Winnicott, 24 to 7. And Kiwani, the number two seed, they fall to Chilton, 41 to 26. Some more scores now tonight. Well, Manawa, they will lose to Coleman 46 to 28, and Hilbert, they will win big over Catholic Central 48 to 7.